Alrighty, there's only one really way to go about this, and that's just to let rip and see what happens. So hopefully the camera will focus. Uh, nothing too distracting. Hopefully my framing is decent. You know, you can get a good look at me and all that. But um, yeah, so let's get into it. So g'day guys, this is just a quick little video I want to make, giving you all an update of how I want to style my videos going forward in 2020. Now previously in the past I've just been using stock images, stock footage I've taken and things like that. But I want to move towards this more ghetto, um, ghetto style camera setup where I'm just recording off my phone with my lamp, giving me a bit of light, just you know, recording my room or wherever I am in my travels because I think this delivers much more engaging content. You know, me personally when I'm watching other people's content and I can see someone talking, I can see the face moving, I can see the minute movements of the shoulders, you know, people are waving their hands around. I find that much more engaging and I find myself more willing to you know, watch the whole video. I'm not tapping out, I'm not doing other stuff. Uh, whilst that's going on. And I think this uh, gives me a bit of strength here because I'm actually someone who talks with his hands quite a bit and obviously that's not coming through when I'm just talking with the microphone and you know talking over pictures or images of the sea or something like that. So you know maybe I'll mix in um, some of that stock footage I've taken if it's relevant, if it's metaphoric, if it's symbolic and that call thing. But I do want to move forward with a ghetto, um, ghetto style camera setup I should say. Hopefully with uh, uh, not too many cuts. You know I'm getting to that point where my speaking skills are developing to the point where I can deliver engaging content or well, at least I think it's engaging content for a couple minutes on end. Whereas before, if you go way back to the start of my videos, you can hear the audio being chopped up every 15 or 30 seconds. Whilst we're on the subject of audio, right now I'm recording this without my microphone. So the audio quality is probably a bit worse because I'm all the way over here and the camera's microphone is all the way over there. So what I might do in the future is get a clip on mic or maybe I'll just try and hold up my microphone. But obviously my hand might move around whilst I'm doing that and that might... Uh, that might affect the audio quality. Obviously, you don't want you know warbling and the sounds of air rushing and that sort of thing. So I think the clip-on microphone will be the way to go. I'll be looking into that sort of thing. So I've, obviously, I'm free to wave my hands around and that sort of thing because I uh, <laughs> that's the way I like to talk. I think a real strength that this is going to give me is the ability to record pretty much everywhere because you know, like most people, I've always got my phone on me so people can text me and that sort of thing. And you know, if I'm just out and about and I want to make a video, previously in the past I couldn't because I'm like mm, I need to get back home, my computer, my microphone, my whole setup. So I'm really restricted when I want to make a video to just being in this room. Whereas if I just take my phone and I'm confident enough speaking and if I have a decent enough setup and I bring my microphone, my little clip on microphone, surely it won't be that big, I can record anywhere. So if I'm out and about, I'm out at the beach, I'm wherever and I come across a good idea or I'm, you know, I want to strike whilst the metal's hot and that sort of thing, I could just crack on rather than having to wait till I get home to deliver an important message. Uh, additionally, when I'm on the road, when I'm traveling as I have been, I don't have to you know, pack my whole computer bag and my microphone and that sort of stuff. It's just cumbersome. It's way more convenient if I just have this small piece of technology to utilize, utilize that tel technology in order to uh, deliver more content, more engaging content. And that's essentially the whole point. I want to increase my audience uh, attention level or engagement level, I should say. I want to deliver better content. I want more people to join this important conversation we're having concerning philosophy, self-improvement, the gym, gardening, you know, making sure we can survive this hellish consumerist culture world uh, of nihilism and depression and that sort of thing. We want to fight back against that sort of thing. And I'm not helping you guys out if I'm not delivering engaging content. If it's boring, if I'm just sitting there, you know, droning into a microphone over an image of waving trees or something, that's not helping you guys out. So you guys can help me out by engaging in the comment. Let me know your thoughts and feedback below on this style. Do you like it? Do you have any suggestions and that sort of thing? Because as I often like to point out, I'm completely unknowledgeable when this comes to this sort of thing. I literally just put my phone up in my cupboard and I'm just trying to record myself speak. So I don't really know what I'm doing. So if you have any suggestions as to how I can improve my setup, I'd love to hear it. And I can help you out by delivering engaging philosophy for you to improve your life with. So I hope this all uh, goes harmoniously moving forward. Uh, thanks all for sticking around and have a good one.